Hello and welcome to another episode of Mass Effect Andromeda, where we are continuing to investigate the weird, uh, well, yeah, weird is a good word, weird remnants uh, facility hidden uh, under the lake near our colony site. There's all these fancy ferrofluid uh, aqueducts. Aqueduct is the right word if it's not water that's being carried, but it's kind of semantic quibbles you can worry about later. First, we need to find out what this place is actually doing and if it can indeed help us oops, uh, purify the atmosphere. Reconstituted components. Be anything. Baby! Ryder! That relic box I found? Not a symbol of authority. The remnants still shoot at me. I'll try it with one of those data patterns we saw. Is that a good idea? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Uh. So, PB, we have this expression on Earth about curiosity and what it does to feline creatures. It would creatures. take years to tunnel a place this big. Imagine the machines they used. Uh, maybe they were machines that didn't take years. Just, you know, saying. at the moment is <coughs> kind of falling a bit into the manic pixie dream girl trope complete with uh, the awkward sexual tension meeting with her Let's see how she turns out that's one way to light a room the atmosphere processor we found before didn't need all these steps dad just interfaced with it directly and it didn't work out so great. Direct intervention was necessary in that case, but clearly unwise. All these blast shields, I wonder. Meta gaming wise, I go. <coughs> oh dear, lots of blast shields. Must be combat coming up. Uh, kind of just archaeologically think. Well, why is this? Was this intentionally set up kind of to be a defensible position? And if so, why? You know, was this? Have you ever built this uh, at war or afraid of being? They might be at war. Or terrorism. Other armed conflicts take place here that they need Look to, how high to it is. defend it. Might be another gravity well? Nope. Sure. Focus on the remnant. 
Wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner. Well, first. Ooh, tier two research projects unlocked. Fancy. Wonder what those are. Uh, first, though, skills. Um. So, quick tech skills. Power restoration defense, that's good. Fire damage, oops. Or our power restoration, no. But let's undo that one. Um. Plus 50% damage is good. Uh, yep. Uh. We'll keep that. Our skill points. That skill points. I could provide analysis via the scanner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pathfinder. Conduit splits and goes through each of those devices. Interfacing may complete the circuit and allow the well to open. If it gets us to the system lockdown, let's try. Okay, let's hit both those consoles and complete the circuit. Appears defensive in nature. Power restored to the gravity well. The conduit leads down. Conduit fluid pressure is variable. There could be activity below. Then let's dig deeper. Okay, I gotta read you what this energy fuel does. Remember, shield charger. So now it's an emergency shield recharge device. Watch so box filter enabled. Shield device capability enabled. Maximum power transfer, 12.8 milliwatts. That's not a lot of power. I mean, not sure how oh, that would be enough to power a shield. Um, Spraying a leak. Right over the console. If you try interfacing, you'll burn your hands off. And no fluid means no power. Damn it. Maybe that's why those devices up above were turned off. We're not turning back now. There has to be some way to fix the leak. Perfect leak. I 
I can't get indoors to work. The conduit's breached. Hey, wait! The observers were using weird laser frequencies to fix a broken wall back there. I can send the frequencies to your Omnicool. Maybe they can patch up the conduit? And received. I'll give them a shot. Yes. Seems. First of all, I'm not quite sure what PB means by weird laser frequencies. I mean, maybe it means like, you know, how they were. Sorry. And at what rate they were shooting, uh, or whether it means the, the color of the laser light. The system's responding to those frequencies. Just a patch job, but it should hold. Nice work. If it's fixed, that console should work now. So, so yeah, I'm not quite sure why the system would um, a gauntlet or maybe a hand tool. And it doubles as a weapon, extra handy. Uh, Ryder, can you hit that console? I'm not quite sure why you should like a laser. You're a pal, Ryder. Where are you going? We've got to be close to the system lockdown by now. First one gets the glory. We'll catch up. Let's see if we powered up a way out of here. It's uh, unfortunately kind of how science tends to work. Even though lots of people are involved in lots of scientific discoveries, one person kind of gets labeled the first and they get all the glory. Even when other people came up with the same idea around right about the same time. Look at that. Indeed. It is pretty. Go but down. That did it. Watch your step. It's still a long drop. So this kind of implies that it was made to be traversed with some type of jump jet technology. Right? Why not just make an actual bridge? Why have these gaps in between? Unless it's kind of malfunctioning. But... All the way down here? You see them too? I thought all the gravity fun had messed up my eyes. No sunlight, no water. They should all be dead. Indeed. The planet's a wasteland, but maybe they're just hardy. The source of the system lockdown may yield more information. We appear to be close. Also look an awful lot like the plants we saw in Habitat 7. Plants. Fellows life what it's supposed to mean. Identification Nukia Remnantis! Sorry. Giving them a name more supposed to be interfacing with people back on Nexus, that makes sense.
večer. The game is kind of explained how that works with their you know, recycling and manufacturing technology and that. But I think how it is on Earth to you know, get a PC and a Mac to interface with each other. Uh, connect your laptop to a beamer. And here we are, two and a half million light years away. And we can just. Uh, and power conduits and whatever no trouble water it made a new path I think that's the right way we could reach it if we backtrack observers coming up at us like why would you make something like that in your facility? Yeah, hydraulics sound like things that you know would spring a leak and easily get damaged and stuff. And Who says that it's okay for us to shoot all these robots just because we decided we want to live on this planet? Now that is cool. Must oh. alien be right? That kind of is cool. Also, you know, 
space, space magic kind of appearing out of thin air like that. So, uh, feel that? This whole platform's resonating with something. We must be close. Yeah, that might have some justification for how it's supposed to work, but they're they're not telling us. This is the heart of the wall. I've never seen anything like it. All conduits converge here, Pathfinder. That must be the lockdown console. Why exactly? <coughs> oh, we've very little here to kind of give us any idea of what the function is. Well, they did like having blast shields everywhere. Kind of suggests it's supposed to be a defensible position. Oh. Huh. Any thoughts, Sam? Unknown. Though it appears related to the lockdown, an in-depth study may reveal its purpose. The system lockdown is disabled. The vault and the atmosphere processor should return to full operation. Ryder, you fixed the lockdown, didn't you? The whole place is lighting up. Power readings are off the chart. Really, really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be... good.
surface we can action. Bolt restart is now complete. That was... Talk about a rush! It was crazy and fun. Uh, no. Let's go. What the heck just happened? What was that? Field. I know a trap when I see one. An immune response? Maybe one last scrub for startup? This place is full of surprises. Why would you say immune response? That implies kind of an organic living thing. We have to be more careful. That field almost disintegrated us. But it didn't. You want to focus on that or the cool vault you just activated? Atmosphere processor is online. Recovering last console activity. Is that the Helios cluster? Yeah. There we are. That's Eos. Something happened. Because we restarted the system? If that light is us, then... All these points could be vaults in other worlds. Dormant like this. That's a world. Vaults? Maybe. But why is there a whole network of them? What's all this for? It does impossible things. Uh... It does, but... Unless the builders show up to explain themselves, all we've got is guesswork. So far we've seen bots, living plants, atmosphere processors. I once did supply runs for a council team that was seeding some ice planet's atmosphere trying to melt the ice caps. To help with support life. Then maybe the first processor we saw was broken. Destroying that planet instead of... Is that what these builders were trying to do? Make worlds habitable? Even terraform a whole cluster? Hey, look there. That's different. Maybe it's active? We've got to go see. Sam? Extrapolating. These coordinates lie beyond the space we have currently surveyed, Pathfinder. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air. Har har. Look at that sky. How? No atmosphere processor works that fast. If this effect is representative, Pathfinder, air and moisture patterns will show noticeable improvement. Eos could support an outpost. A foothold. That's all we need. Just enough to begin. This remnant technology could be the key to our survival, if we can control it. You can. Kind of. Still, wouldn't hurt to find a manual. We've got a lead. Sam marked it on the charts down there. That site is active, whatever it is. Who knows what we'll find there? We? Who knows indeed? You want to come along? I want to know what makes the remnant tick. You've got a key to their technology. Or a crowbar, at least. Um. Better be slightly skeptical. I don't know. We're a team. You like working solo. Sure, but we don't have to be joined at the hip to solve all this. Come on. <sighs> all right. Pack what you need and... Data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear, that'll do. I'll catch up with you. She's a handful, but she knows her stuff. We can use the help. Okay. You have already logged an ideal site. Nav point noted. Updating Tempest. The Nexus is on pins and needles, Ryder. Pods are inbound and ready. Let's go make it happen. Get one cryopod point, whatever those are. Snazzy new pinch up on my nomad.
Controllability, fast travel points. Um, yeah, I think for now this is a uh, good place to leave it. Uh, still lots of things we can do here on EOS. Um, using works for science, amongst other things. Uh, and yeah, uh, for now I think we'll leave it here. I do wonder uh, if the game will answer PB's question about you know, how does work now the sure processor works out fast, because the atmosphere seems to be very quickly well and truly scrubbed. Uh, still quite a bit of radiation though. That's level one, just all too much. If you really want to live here, but maybe not so bad as it was before. So, anyway, uh, for now, thank you for watching, and I hope you will tune in again next time. Goodbye.